karma. At any given moment in time, there are 20 people in Prospect Park in Brooklyn named Karma. It's also a really nice concept to do something positive uh, for the spaces that you live and uh, work and play in or metal detect in. Mr. Indiana Tones and I are on a mission. We are going to fill the holes in Prospect Park. Going to do some metal detecting too, of course. Now here's the thing. The living beings who are in the most need of karma for the holes in Prospect Park they're dogs. They're canines. They, they just do that. They dig holes. I, I've got to. They, they dig holes. My yard is full of holes. Of course, I'm a metal detectorist, and my wife blames me for the dog's holes. And I'm sure the city thinks the same way. So what me and uh, Lou, Indiana Tones, are doing, here's his channel right here. Please subscribe to it. We're making sure that detectorists don't get blamed for the moon craters that... Uh, karma can fall into is this your first uh, day in the Knox uh, with the Knox here I can't remember did in you have a park it? first day Wait, first. except for well, this is officially the first day gotcha okay so Lou's got his new Equinox and yep. uh, he got possibly his first uh, Indian head signal I I'm I'm gonna cheer on yeah but the problem is Indian head signals are the same as oh no a broken coin oh that's a zinkin yeah, they ring up the same way too. I mean, Zinkins could be 1920, but when they're oh, when they're broken, <laughs> when they're broken like that, they're. Uh, I know, I know. That's why we can't get this place sodded. Oh. Every dog has his day, but no dog is going to ruin my day. If they put another layer of sod in this amazing park, oh my God, I would cry. <laughs> Imagine. Hey man, you don't have to pick up your detector again. At least there you go. Thanks, pal. Yep. First signal, we got a horse ring. I mean, we got to make holes before we fix them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Lou just heard me. Lou's got a dream signal here. Oh, no. Ah, oh, man. I think it's just a dime. Yep. Oh, wah, 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 wah. We've all been there. <laughs> Lou's getting something great today, though, I'm telling you. So this video was of Lou's first day with the uh, Equinox, but uh, I've had mine for about six months now, and uh, I, I decided to do a little bit of an experiment. So you can scroll over on the Equinox, and you can change the recovery speed. And it, the Equinox is known for the, its recovery speed. It could go from signal to signal, zoom, really, really super fast. The processing in there is, like, ridiculous. But uh, I've heard a rumor that you can get more depth with a slower um, recovery speed. So we're going to experiment with that right now. So today I'm experimenting with something. I put my uh, Equinox in recovery speed one, which is the slowest and can go deepest. So we're looking for those exotic deep signals here. Let's see what we get. Well, it's picking up a lot of deep iron. I've got it in all uh, metal mode, which uh, is helpful. Uh, getting this stuff out of the way can do wonders. Is this on? Mine's on. Let's see. It. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, this is like, uh, what, what is it? Mockingjay? Like the... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 yep. Whoa, this is cool. Yeah, man. Congratulations, Thanks, sir. Pal. Hunger Games, that, that's what I was trying to think of. I'm fat, I don't play Hunger Games. We got a nickel, but uh, I'm excited about what's over here. Uh, it might have masked a deeper signal. So let's actually see if we could get that together. Quick teaching point. Let's say that you're digging signals that are Zinkins at six or seven inches deep. You might want to go to a different section of the park just for deductive reasoning purposes. You, you know that that area has been, it's added to. Uh, it might have been sodded. And, uh, you, you know, you, you have to think along those lines. Second thing I want to say is once you remove a signal from somewhere, it could uncover another signal. Always go over your holes because a lot of times objects are dropped together or you know, there's a high volume spot that people sit in over a long period of time. And once you recover one of those objects, it makes it more clear with the other ones that are there. 
Yeah, look at that. All right, let's dig this too. Yep, we have a deeper signal. Well, in this case, the deeper signal is a wheat scent. Not sure of the year, but uh, we will uh, clean it up. All right, we found an older patch. This is another weedy, so uh, we're gonna keep looking around the area. Look at what removing objects can do. dig okay not what i was hoping for a dime but let's keep looking let me point out my own idiocy there it, it, idiocy as in being a total idiot oh my god i just pulled a super deep dime that was clad why am i still looking in that spot that's why i started out so slowly that day okay this i believe it is what's left of a 1943 zinc wheat scent so we'll try electrolysis with this, but uh, I don't have high hopes. Same patch, another nickel. Well, this sure is a pretty pull tab. Then again, we don't like pull tabs. So somebody was asking me yesterday in the live stream about gridding. This is how I grid. I take out this stuff. I somewhat spiral. I don't really grid, but uh, when I find an area that has coins that have age in it, I look to remove everything and uh, you know, hopefully we get some more coins because we're only talking about uh, wheat cents right now. All right, first good coin of the day, got a buffalo nickel. Nice, love them. Found somebody's keys. Listen, man, I break for quarters, okay? I get a quarter signal on the surface, I dig it, okay? The goal for 2020, $1,000 in clad and 100 rings. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be a fun and, you know, grueling year for my shoulder. You know, you, you know you want to see if this shoulder is still intact. So hit that subscribe button. It's, uh, I th that one's nicer, though. Oh, look at that. There wow. you go. There you go, sir. <laughs> oh, toothbrush is out. Are and he makes live? the happy sound. Well, we're not live, but, you know, we're in the... go live. Uh, I do lives, Man. like, every day. Yeah, everybody enjoys it, though. Yeah. I enjoy it. Well, that's a question for you. Do you guys like my live videos better or the uploads better? So please put that in the comments. I love buttons. It's still got the... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Can I get a close-up of that? Extreme close-up. Button. It is a Louis Button button. Yes, I'm Louis and this is a button. Excellent. Louis, Louis button. button. <laughs> Some grapes. <laughs> Quarter. Got to get my thousand this year. Got to. We have a petrified bottle cap. It is not good. You know, it wouldn't be a metal detecting NYC video if I didn't say quarter. Quarter. Well, this is a interesting thingy. Look at this. I thought it was a ring at first. Um, but it is rolled up copper. Interesting. Hmm. Wonder what its use is. Smart people in the comments, help me out. Sure. That's an Indian head, yeah, sir. Yeah, buddy. That's an Indian head. My first Indian head with the Knox. Let, let me see. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it is. Really thick. I hope it is. Watch. It's definitely not a zinking. Wait a second. Uh-oh. <laughs> Want this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think it might be? Something else? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, my, my camera famously focuses terribly, and I can make out from here that it's an Indian head. And I can't see that? Man, it's time for glasses. What the hell is this? You know there's an Indian? I don't know. I... So we'll clean it up, I'll put it right back on. You want me to do the pants thing? Whatever you want to do, bro, I don't give a shit. Well, I around, don't want to, you know... If it's silver, I want to be more delicate. If it's no, copper, not silver, care. definitely copper. Yeah, that's what I mean. So I'm just saying I don't care. Yeah, I'd say Indian head. I hope it's something earlier. Wouldn't that be great? Earlier was uh, the large sense, and uh, oh, 
I'm pretty sure that's an Indian head. Okay. Let me, he's like, give me it. No, Ooh. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Impulsive and I have worse ADHD than you do, trust me. Wait, can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> yep, one cent. That is definitely an Indian head. Put it there, sir. There you go. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get that on film. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, I see a date. Here's 18 your toothbrush. something. 18 hundreds oh, club. There you go. Oh my god. There you go, sir. It's a marathon. <laughs> Le tab de pool. Quarter. Quarter. Hipster hydration cap. You know, what is this, a bullet? Or part of a bullet? I don't know, pipe? I thought I had something good. Look how deep that hole is. Meh. <laughs> we got a weedy. <laughs> So I got a zinc in about six inches down, and uh, that tells you one thing, that uh, the park, you know, the deeper stuff would have to be deeper. So you're in a section of the park that perhaps has been, uh, you know, landfilled over. Yes, yes sir. Oh Is that the U.S. one? Indiana Tones, you're having a day, Ooh, sir. Well done. PBR. 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 PRR. Well done. Shank on it? I don't know. How you guys doing? Hey, right? how you doing? All right, how are you? Good. Meryl? Yes. Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, how, how are you? Are you? Louis. Good. Louis, nice to meet you. Nice guys. To meet My uh, Facebook friend, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Hey, good to meet you in person. You too, yeah, absolutely. Is it me, or does every metal detectorist know each other? Like, we all know each other. How you guys Just, doing? Anything? Oh, I just got the Ages, I don't know uh, what that is. He's killing it. This is his first day with the uh, Equinox, too. This is a really interesting segment to me here. This is a really great detectorist. Uh, he should have seen the photos that he showed me. Uh, but th listen to his comments on the Equinox versus the CTX 3030. Yeah, I, I, can't, I, I usually take my CTX here. I take the Equinox sometimes. I was hunting a dirt pile. They're pretty good so far. Hey, how do you like the difference, uh, CTX and Equinox? What's that? Well, what do you think of the difference between the two? Like, if you were going to choose one. Having My CTX the is way better. Okay. <laughs> the Equinox the is good for separation. Um, it's deep, but my CTX, I had it since 2012, the first day it came out. Gotcha. And it is, I actually, I go with a couple of buddies, we always come here, we all have CTXs when we take them, we all have Equinoxes too, but we used to compare signals, and you can get a hot coil, you can get a hot, I think I have one, um, but for target ID, it's really yeah. good. That's the key. You what about, I just dig uh, more trash. What about depth? I mean, do you get more depth with the uh, CTX? I th the only thing I think, I have a couple videos of me digging deep barbers with this. Um, but my CTX, I, I this is better for low, to low conductors. Mm -hmm. The CTX is amazing for silver. You know, so I mean, uh, but, I've, but Interesting. I've, I've taken this to areas where I have killed it with the CTX and I pulled stuff out. of it. So I just think that separation is way better on this. So oh, and this. They're both really good yeah. machines. You know, this is what I got so you, far. You pull a lot of silver out with your knocks? Let, let me yeah. see the... Uh... It says stuff on the back of that. Yeah, I got seated here. Awesome. What? Are we in a bad area? <laughs> is this all today? All today. Some Ooh, Indians, okay. Some this is a beautiful... Oh, wow. We're, we're just talking about... I'm like, I never find silver quarters anymore. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be the one teaching today then, I think. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I thought I had silver, but I got a dime. Listen to that. Dig. Okay, so these are all the signals I've gone deep for. Uh, hasn't quite worked out today. I'm due, that's what that means. Another dime, joy to the world. There you go. What is that? Finally something worthwhile. Ooh, I wonder if it's Victorian. Victorian jewelry. That's nice. I wonder if it's gold. It's got the little clip in your hand too. Let me oh, oh no. I got Is it like a brooch? Uh, I don't know. I think an earring. Uh, there it is. It looks really cool. You got some blind blind. Ah, I think it's shiny. Do you want my brush? Yeah. Nah, I'll just clean this up when we're home. Yeah, put some water on it. For some tooth brushing. This is old. This is old. Oh hell, let's uh... Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. <laughs> I think... 
This is... Hold on, sorry. <gasps> shield? Stop. Is that a shield? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Look. Shield, Look, you see these? Give me, give me. I've seen that, like, in a magazine. I've never dug a shield if that's a shield. It's really smooth. You gotta, Lou, Lou was just trying to convince me to, get, to move on to another spot, for the record. It's all right. I've been wrong once before, though. too. It's just a zinking. If Jeez. This, it's, it's on the come out. You just got to be really gentle. All right. We'll be back when we uh, figure this out. All right. You see those lines on here? What number was that, Meryl? Uh, it rang up like a nickel. I think that is a shield. That would be phenomenal. Here's the other side. Oh, it's got stuff that I can figure out. Back in the day, that's what I said about school. I figured it out so much that I still work in one. Hey man, that's pretty cool. Get it! Get it, Barber! <laughs> I got a regular dime. It's all right, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> He's got a, a, a barb from uh, Stranger Things. Hey, man, you got the... Uh... I'm taking this from you. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Okay. He, he, was, tr he was trying to talk me out of, like, Look, moving from one here. One dime. Beautiful. One dimmy. Yeah, man. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> it says one dimmy. Yeah. So, do we really want to... They know we Do we really want to... I don't know. Yes, we do. <laughs> And there's a less impressive dime. I know you missed me saying it. Quarter. Quarter. Ooh. There might be gold in there, bro. Meh. 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 It's a cross. It's a bling bling cross. Let me see. Let me see. Here you go. <laughs> he got a mic. It's my first silver coin with the nine. There you go, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the fun is not over yet, but I, I, we had to do what we came there to do, which was fill in all of those dog graters that people who are super hip with beards and glasses could like fall into. So yeah, it was time. Uh, all right. So the game plan is one to identify the holes. Sorry if I just cut you off, Lou. Yeah, I'm sorry. And uh, then we're going to take yeah, some dirt we found a hole. Yep, from the woods and we're going to fill it. So good game plan. Fill in holes. Nice game plan.
Who talked me into doing some more hunting? Got my first Indian head of the day. This is a definite Indian head. We have a mystery nickel. Yes. We can't leave this place. <laughs> it's too good. Cool. All right, we got another uh, buffalo nickel. Got a war nickel. Yeah, send me some clips. So I'm gonna download the whole video. All right, I just got another Indian head penny here. Still going for $1,000 this year, so uh, here's a quarter. Plus coin pollution. Quarter. All right, we're seriously leaving this time. Good hunt Great today. Job. Great hunt. Great hunt. <laughs> All right, Mr. Merrill. All get right, home my safe. friend. There you go. <laughs> Metal detecting has no endings, it is a cycle where we recover the past. The present gets dropped, goes down in the dirt or sand, and uh, it lies there for a time for the next generation of detectorists, uh, or us if we uh, <laughs> swing long enough. But uh, anyway, this is part of the adventure of detecting in New York City, which is uh, really, I would argue, the best place that you could detect. You know, we got beaches, we got historic parks, and, uh, you know, Dave. 300, 400 year old coin history of the land. So, you know, we, we, it's, it's a pretty awesome place. Come along for the ride. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also, check out my buddy uh, Indiana Tones. Thank you, everybody.